I'm uh, Steve Sturkey, and I get to be the father to uh, Brady Sturkey, who has uh, had me loss for the last 15 years. Hi, I'm Jamie Sturkey, and I am Brady Sturkey's mom. Everything was normal um, with Brady the first uh, 23 months of his life. So he was developing normal. Um, he was walking, talking, doing all the things that he should be um, right before his second birthday. Uh, so to say that we were thrown for a loop when this happened um, would be an understatement. It was right before his uh, two year birthday and my wife and I were actually traveling to Hawaii. So when we uh, were in Hawaii, Brady was staying with my parents and um, at our house and everything was fine the entire week. Uh, the day that we were flying home, I did get a text from my mom and she said that Brady um, wasn't acting like himself. He had a slight fever, but it wasn't um, a fever high enough for her. Um, she didn't feel like she needed to treat it. We got home late. Um, when we woke up the next morning, um, I knew something was wrong. I was going to take him to the pediatrician's office. I tell the nurses, I'm like, we have to be seen right now. Like, we have to be seen right now. There's something wrong. And they took his temperature and they said it was 106.3. And he immediately, almost immediately after being told that, he started having seizures. So they um, called 911 and, and the ambulance came. He was lifeless at that point and, you know, had a really high blood or really low blood sugar level, high fever over 106. They do a blood sugar test. They see that his blood sugar is 10. Explain to us that that is very, very bad um, and that they have called the chopper in from Evansville. And so they life lighted him up here to Riley. And, you know, he was in a coma for, for three weeks up here. For sure, they are fearing for his life. Um, they did not know uh, if we would take him home. They did not know if we would be leaving um, the hospital with him. Um, when we got there, um, he was having uncontrollable seizures still. Um, so they put him in a medically induced coma for an extended period of time. We thought, as parents, that didn't know the medical world very well, that because we couldn't see him having seizures, that things were going well. Um, and then they would do testing and they would be like, he's having, you know, 100 seizures a day. This test indicates he's having seizures almost constantly. Uh, he ended up staying in the hospital 21 days. We left on uh, three different seizure medications, a couple of supplements from the biogeneticist and an NG tube. So we left with a completely different kid. A few weeks after that is when they called uh, my husband and told him, um, the doctor called him and told him um, that it was in fact mitochondrial disease, um, specifically meat loss. And the doctor said, hey, this, you know, here's, here's what it is. We found this deficit of this protein and here's what it is. And uh, the first thing he said to me was, uh, you know, don't Google it because what's on the internet is, is, you know, it's, well, I mean, you go on there and you look at me lost and you learn about that. And it, it of course, isn't, isn't the best. The first thing my husband did was get online and look, even though we were told not to do that. When the doctor called uh, Steve, he said the only thing that we could Google was UMDF and not to Google <laughs> me loss itself. Steve immediately got online um, and started doing re research. Um, I did not. Um, I felt like the day-to-day -day was enough uh, for me to handle that I didn't need to know, um, you know, the biology behind it. Um, I needed to focus more on uh, the day-to-day. -day. Uh, the one blessing that we had is I know for so many people they go on this journey of diagnosis and it takes them several years to get to a point where in this particular space they know what's happening. We just by chance had a biogenetics doctor that was there and you know no one could figure out what was going on but he just had this inkling that he that he knew kind of what was going on so he started him on supplements pr pretty early. And um, we got that diagnosis, you know, pretty quick. I, I think, you know, in a month and a half or so from that first initial, that's when we got the diagnosis. You know, he was in the hospital for, for several weeks, um, you know, in a coma. And so that's, that's what started our journey then. <laughs>